one of the first step is, of course, to import your data into mountains. There's two ways to do that. The first one is to simply drag your data from the hard drive, from the hard drive into mountain speed. The second one, which I recommend, is to use the File Explorer tab. In the File Explorer tab, you can browse your hard drive, and the software will look and display thumbnails of your data. If you select one of them, you see the thumbnail, and you also have access to um, first level of information regarding the metadata stored in, in, the, in the files. When you want to import those data, you simply double click, and the data will be imported into the document. You, are, you may have noticed that the workflow uh, is being populated with new information. The first line is the raw data that we have just imported. And the second line is this frame here, which is the top 2D view, basically. If you access, uh, if you select a different kind of data, such as a profile, you double click, and then it's also imported in mountains. And you see a second small tree uh, that is linked to this profile. Of course, because you are using an SPM, uh, most of the time you are not acquiring one single channel, but multiple channel. And we can import that as well in mountains. When you have multiple channels, you will see it here. You have three channels and the number three. If you import it, you can also drag and drop in the document, and you see a third tree in the workflow. And because it's you have multiple channels available, you will see them here, three. The face, uh, no, the height, the face, and the amplitude in this example. You could also look inside such data, which may contain not only uh, different channels, but um, force, force curves and Harvey cubes, all sorts of, of additional data. You can look inside by expanding those uh, files, and then you have access to all of the channel that was stored uh, in, in, in that container. If you want to isolate directly from the File Explorer one channel, you do it like that, and then you drag and drop it into mount. Something that is important for you to know right away is the choice of operators and studies provided depends on the kind of data that you have selected. If I select a surface on the document or in a workflow, there's a list of operators that apply on a surface. If I select a profile, I have another list of operators that apply on profile. So please make sure that you select the right kind of data for your analysis. Mm -hmm.